everybody welcome back to my channel today's video we are going to be doing this really easy everyday look I don't know if you can see it very well but you will see it later on the video um, got the video filmed forgot to do my intro so here's my intro now anyway if you want to see an easy everyday look using majority of drugstore products maybe a couple of good high-end products and affordable um, then just keep watching Okay, so the first thing I do is I always prep my skin. I don't need a primer, I mean skincare. Skincare is incredibly important. Um, it is the first step in your beauty routine. It's not your foundation, it's not your primer. Um, it is your skincare routine. Wash my face with a basic cleanser like Cetaphil. Um, sometimes I'll use an exfoliator. Uh, I don't do it every day because I do use a glycolic um, acid toner. This is the Mario Badescu glycolic acid toner. This has been really worked really well for me as far as keeping my pores clean. Um, resurfacing my skin every day. Um, it acts as a type of exfoliant. Done really well with helping. I have a lot of sun damage. My skin for the most part is fairly clear. I just have a lot of sun damage. This has been really good for helping to fade a lot of those spots. And I'll follow up with a serum. This is the Estee Lauder Idealist um, Pore Minimizing Serum. And then my moisturizer is the Clinique High Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly. This works really, really well for me. Primers that I do like to use are as follows elf poreless putty primer this works really really well for me magic's primer from avon this works really really well this actually has spf 20 sunscreen in it if you're sensitive to sunscreen this may not be the one for you or if you're going to do any type of flash photography i would avoid this but outside of just like everyday use i love this one i'm going to use this one today like a white almost like a paste this really helps smooth out my pores and just kind of give my skin a real even finish so my foundation lays on top of it really well. Pretty much just do a T-zone because that's where I have the most, my eyes are watering. That's where I have most of the pores that show up in my foundation. It's Thursday, April 2nd, um, Governor of Virginia just issued a stay-at-home order for everybody, which doesn't really change the basics of what we were doing with social distancing anyway. It just kind of makes it a little bit more stricter. I do have to go out today for my daughter's in kindergarten. She has schoolwork that can't be done online. I actually go and drop off her last two weeks of schoolwork and pick up the next two weeks of schoolwork today. And then of course I have to stop by the store and get some essentials because we are almost on toilet paper. We were not prepared for an apocalypse like everybody else was, so now I need toilet paper. Foundation I'm using today is the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream. This is in the shade 530 Light Medium. I use the light, but today I do have a tan on because I've been putting self tanner on. So I am using a bit of a darker shade to match my tan. Not my face. But it is a BB cream, but it's for oily skin, so it's a little bit more oil controlling. And it gives really, really good coverage. Really into using more of a medium coverage than a full coverage, medium to light coverage now. Um, I've worked really, really hard on my skin. Aside from the sun damage, I have really, really good skin. I work kinda, mostly, mostly, mostly strict regimen for the last um, almost four years now, and it has done a complete turnaround. I just wanna show it off a little bit instead of caking a bunch of makeup on top of it. Plus, I'm getting to that age where cakey makeup does not work well for my skin. I have mature skin, full coverage foundation on top of mature skin. It's awful looking. Like to be a BB cream, it is buildable. So I did do one layer just to kind of even my skin tone out. And then I'm just gonna kind of go back over the middle part of my face because that's where I have most of the discoloration. And just kind of do another layer. Just kind of playing around with eyebrow pencils. My eyebrow pencil that I've been using has been working pretty well, but I kind of been playing around with something different. Um, but today I'm just gonna use the regular one that I always use. Wet and Wild Retractable Brow Pencil. This is in the shade Ash Brown. It is too dark for me because I have blonde hair. I really like bold eyebrows so and light hair, so that's what I'm doing today. You can see it has an angled tip, so you can do a thin line or a bold line, and then of course has a spoolie. So you're just gonna brush it out really quick. Draw out the shape that I want first. just to kind of it is a less expensive eyebrow pencil so you might get some kind of waxy 
clumpy bits and pieces, or you might get a little bit thicker buildup in one spot than the other, but a spoolie will fix it easily. $3, I don't mind. I've been doing my eyebrows for many, many years. I have only recently gotten good at it over the last few years. I do still use the age-old trick of measuring like here, here, and your arch here. So, I mean, it's pretty much, it's not exactly an exact science, but it's close enough. I take my spoolie and I do just kind of spoolie the front part of it. I don't want too bold of a brow. I do want it to look a little natural. So I do spoolie that quite a bit. I'll clean that up with Concealer when I'm done. Elf has a line of concealers out now. I think they're about between six and nine dollars. Don't quote me on it because I'm not sure. They are the Elf Camo Concealers. And thank you. These are the two formulas. This one is the original full coverage formula, and this one is the um, newest one. It is the hydrating full coverage. They're both full coverage. Um, this one is too heavy for my under eye area, but I usually just use this one to shape my brows and just put a base on my eyelid. Now, typically you wouldn't use a concealer to put on your eyelid because concealers do con contain a lot of like oily type products and your eyelid gets oilier before anything else on your face does so it can cause your eye makeup to crease. Um, I've had some really good results with that so it hasn't done that to me yet so I continue to use it because I think it does a good job but I also shape my eyebrows with it. This is a Morphe eyeliner brush. Some concealer on my hand and then I just dip the brush in it and we're just going to shape our brows up and clean up anything we might have carried down. I'm trying to make sure my white balance doesn't get all crazy. I see it's doing something. Down. And then I'll go back in with my finger and smooth it out. And then if I have any left over, I can go in and I can shape up here. I swear to God, these kids are driving me insane. I cannot think. I have had so many problems trying to figure out what to do with my kids during the days and when it rains oh you can forget it it's a disaster i'm literally on pinterest like every day trying to find something for them to do and then we're just gonna i'm not shaping anything right here i'm just kind of going through and cleaning up any kind of eyebrow product that might have smudged when i was spooling i'm not shaping it i don't want a sharp line here but i do want it to be clean we have some left over and then i'm gonna carry it on my eyelid for my eyelid primer that's what I'm Do our under eyes with the hydrating formula. This does work really, really well. It gives me the coverage that I want, but it's also a hydrating formula. I look really, really tired. Formula. So this will not dry down as much as the other one will, but it'll still give me that coverage that I want. Let's take a moment um, to talk about the triangles that you see on Instagram and all the other YouTube places for dry down. All the other YouTube videos where they take their concealer and they literally conceal from here to here to here. So completely unnecessary. If you have more mature skin, stop doing that. That is a that is a waste of product. That is excessive. Make you look older than you really are. Only concealer is made for under eye. Under eye means right under your eye. It doesn't mean down here on your cheeks. It doesn't mean down here all the way to your hairline. Young skin, you have no wrinkles and you just wanna, by all means go ahead. Full coverage beat, help yourself. I put some here and then I bring it down and I'm just tapping it in. I'm not even smearing it and I'm bringing it down and then I just do a little bit through here and that's it. That literally is all you need. And, and then I take my sponge. This is just a sponge from Walmart. It is dry. And you just tap it in to blend it. I like the way my skin feels. So, and then we're done. We look a little bit more awake now. So we're using, I put, oh, I put powder in here. Crap. Using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Loose Powder. This is in translucent sponge that I tapped out my concealer with and just going and just tap it a little bit. And just to set my concealer it will get cakey and creasy and then you'll see you'll see lines that you didn't even know you had if you do it too much so just be really careful with it and i am using a dry sponge i did use a damp wet and wild sponge for my foundation but i'm using a dry sponge for my concealer all right 
and that is it. The sponge that I get, this is very similar to the Real Technique sponge where you have the point on one end and then you have the flat angled aside on the other. I use the point for my concealer because it gets in the corner of my eyes, but I use the flat one. I'm gonna put a little bit right here. I'm not baking, I'm just putting a little guard for when I do my eyeshadow. It'll be easier to brush off the fallout. I'm going to use for eyeshadow, I'm gonna use the BH Cosmetics the Ghani, is it Ghani? Collab. Um, this is a really cute palette. It, you can see it has um, several colors. Like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It is 20, sorry. 20 eyeshadow colors and two highlighters that you also can use. I'm not a huge highlight person, but you can also use these for a shimmer shade on your eyelid too if you want to. First thing we're gonna go in, we're gonna go in this color, underrated right here eyeshadow brush this one is from BH Cosmetics also just put some shadow on I'm gonna start just kind of in that space in between my brow bone and my crease I'm gonna go just above my crease because I do have a little bit of a hooded eye so I don't want to go directly in my crease and we're just putting on just a little bit on here this is a, the makeup look that I pretty much use every day if I need to go anywhere. Um, when I was working, I would wear this to work because it was quick and easy and I had to get up and get ready at 5 o'clock in the morning. And I'm going back in with it again just to kind of build up on it and I'm just going to kind of circle in the outer corner of my eye and circle in. October. This was a more of a cooler taupe brown. This is more of a warmer orangey brown. If we're going to do a fluffy brush, but this one's a smaller fluffy brush, it's not going to give me too much. Tap the outer corner just a hair and we're gonna blend it in. That's it. So that's it for that for now. These are my two current favorites. I usually just keep a basic eyeliner, black or brown. That's pretty much it. I do have these really fun ones that I picked up at CB Girl. These are the Shockwave Neon ones. I'm really excited to do something with these later on. Same with those. I'm gonna go take brown really quick the wet and wild breakup proof waterproof retractable eyeliners oh oh it's tickles and I'm just basically tight lining my eye so then I take again and I just kind of go on the outer corner and I just barely darken my lash line on the top but I only do it about halfway Okay, and that's it. The outer corner, and we're gonna bring it up it just ever so slightly. And I'm just gonna make a line. And it's okay if it's bold because we're gonna work with it later. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. There's my twins, but okay. And you just wanna put a really bold line just kind of right there. All right, it is an angled eyeliner brush, eyebrow brush, whatever you call it. This is one from Morphe sweep it so it gets a sharper edge smudges it into a sharper edge like that this one's kind of jacked might have to tighten it just a hair I don't know what happened with this one I'm not gonna spend a lot much, too much more time on this. This is pissing me off. Let's go take this. Clean it up just a little bit. It's gonna do just a very, very light, light touch of the liner on my waterline down on the bottom. It's just I'm back in with our Sylvia Ghana Ash Ghani eyeshadow palette. Each eyeshadow brush from Sandy Kashuk from Target. I like this one because somebody's been chewing on it. I like this one because it is wide, but it's also flat. So I'm gonna take, first color I'm gonna take is gonna be this color Queen. I'm just gonna take just a little bit of that. And the eyeball part of my lid, the middle part of my lid where my eyeball hits. See, it don't have to be heavy, it's just a little bit of shimmer. Okay, and then we're gonna go in with this shade Prince, our inner corner with this. For our final step, you can do your brow brown in that same color prints, but I don't, I don't want anything too shimmery because it is daytime and I am just running some errands. So I'm gonna go in with Wolf, which is a very light color, but it's matte. I'll do my brow bone.
I go in with this one. This one is the Wet n Wild Dual Ended Happy Contour Stick. This is in light medium. You have your highlight shade on the end, which I never use. And then you have your contour shade on the other end. I'm just going to go in. I'm just going to do this side. And I'm just drawing a line. And then I, the top of my ear is how I line up my contour. I do a little one here and a little one here. Then we do our jawline. That one's going to be crooked. Okay. The Clinique found Stippling Foundation Brush. You can see it's got two different fibers on the end. And I just kind of go in and buff that out. When I do my cheeks, I just, I buff it. I buff everything in like a circular motion, but my cheeks, I kind of do a upward turn motion too. And then I start in the middle and then I work my way over back and forth. Cause if I get a little bit like right here, I got some product that's a little bit thicker cause it got caught in my hair. I can use that to bring it back up. Do a little bit under my lip cause I do like to accentuate my lip. A little bit under my nose and then we do just a slight line here slight line here crooked all right and we are contoured super easy I use this fluffy powder brush from Sonia Kashuk from Target I go in with that same wet and wild powder and I first I do is I tap the middle of my face to just kind of set my T-zone and then I do all around to set my cream contour. That same powder, we're going to go in with this angled brush, angled sponge again, about the middle of my ear and just come forward. We're gonna let that set for a second and then we'll come back. Okay, so we've let that set for about five or 10 minutes. Usually when I'm letting that set, I usually go get my, put. I usually put clothes in the dryer, let them run, I brush my teeth, pick out something to wear, things like, things like that. Eco Tools Fluffy Brush. And we're gonna go in with a powder foundation. It gives me a little bit extra coverage. It sets all of my makeup really well for the whole day. Um, and it lasts all day. This is the Double Wear, Estee Lauder Double Wear Powder Foundation. Formula recently, I think it's Stay Matte Powder Foundation now. Um, it's pretty much the same thing. This is just one I already had in stockpile. So this is in the shade Ivory Beige. The same color powder year round because powder, you can kind of play with the shades a little bit better. Brush off that contour. And you don't have to worry about whether or not it's too dark or too light because I can just either use a lighter contour, use a lighter foundation, and it does a really good job. It still gives me a little bit of color without looking like my face is brown and my neck is white. Milani Silky Matte Bronzer in the shade O2 Sunkissed. Smells really pretty. And this is just a fluffy wet and wild powder brush I got from a holiday collection a couple years ago. And we're just gonna kind of bronze in our through here get our under area done Estee Lauder brow wow brow gel brow now brow gel this is in the shade clear I just use this just to kind of make sure my eyebrows stay put Blush is my all-time favorite. It's the Milani Baked Blush. This one's really dirty because I use it all the time when I hairspray on it. This is in the shade 05 Luminosa E4. And we're going to do our blush. But it doesn't make my, it doesn't have sparkle in it. So it doesn't make me look like I have glitter on my face. But it gives me a really pretty glow. Like a healthy glow. Like I'm actually healthy because I'm healthy. This is the Morphe E3 brush. I'm um, not sure what kind of brush this is for, but I use it for my highlight. The Essence Pure Nude Highlighter Palette. I watched a YouTube video that said this was really, really pretty. I don't like anything too sparkly, too shimmery. Um, I don't want to have glass skin. I don't want to have like a big shiny face. So we're gonna try this and I'm just gonna swirl it. It has a mirror too. This is like 10 bucks. I'm just gonna swirl it on all four colors. Ooh, it smells pretty good. Oh, that's not bad. It's a pretty glow. I have sun shining in my bathroom. 
So all of my powder products are fit and picked up. Looks like I have glitter floating around in the whole video. Oh, that's very pretty. Face, the Elf Matte Magic Setting Spray. It's in three bucks for what? This one's running out, so it's spitting on me. Lancome, Lancome, Seals Booster XL. This is the uh, mascara primer. This is pretty pricey, considering that most of the stuff that I like to use is drugstore, but I like to use stuff that works, and this works really, really well. Essence Lash Princess False Lash False Lash Effect Mascara. This is with the one in the green and black tube. This is about five bucks. This is probably the best mascara I've ever used. I've been using it for years. I'm just going in and I'm just hitting my ends. I'm about halfway up the shaft of the hair and all the way to the end. I'm not really going to my roots. And there you go. It's really making a mess. Look at that. All there and all there. I'm making a mess. I'm not talking. It's like I'm trying to concentrate. If you mess up right here, just give it a second. Be patient. Give it a second to dry. And then you can go in with a Q-tip or your fingernail and just kind of flake it off without disturbing the makeup you've already put on. Go in with a second coat. And I'm using the tip to my advantage by pulling out the inner corner lashes a lot. Now screw that. And I just kind of do a really light. God, I am making a mess today. I'm gonna go dry my hair and get this crap off that I messed up on and I'll be right back. So this is the finished look. I'll go dry my hair, which is unusual, usually for a messy bun. The Milani matte and Matte lipstick is number 60. It's called Matte Innocence. It's your HD Matte Metallic is in the color HD Glow. I don't know if the, I did get these on clearance um, at Target at one point. I don't know if they're discontinued or they were just doing like a product department reset and bringing in some new packaging. But I do like those. They still done really well and they give me a really nice, um, pretty nude color. That's it for today's video. I'm gonna go run out real quick as fast as I can. I don't wanna be out too long, but I do need to get a few essentials and get the kids schoolwork. But we're gonna try to make it quick. We're gonna try to make it fast and we're gonna hurry and get back home so we can stay, keep everybody safe and healthy. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video and ring the bell for notifications for when I do get to actually upload a new video. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.